Freda from Scandinavian today. I'm going to bake tea beers. It is a great breakfast item in Denmark. Uh, we like to eat it fresh, and uh, it's I would translate it to a poppy Danish poppy seed roll. And I like them so much, so I'm excited to make them today and have them laid on. Hopefully, you also like it. So here we go. And here you see the ingredients for my tea beers. I had one tablespoon of uh, honey. I have one teaspoon of active dry yeast, one whole egg. I have sunflower seeds. It's about uh, a quarter cup. And I have about a third cup of oat flakes. And I'm using two and half a cup of flour with one cup of milk. And I have half a cup of yogurt. And then I have um, the puppy seeds. I use about, uh, I would say it's about uh, an, uh, an eight cup of puppy seeds or about two tablespoons. Uh, you just want to make sure that you cover the, the you know, the bread with the tea beer just completely. So then I'm going to use one cup of butter to roll into the dough. Or if you don't want to use butter, you can also use margarine. Some people prefer margarine. So I'm going to mix the dough up now. I heated up the milk, it's just lukewarm. And then I'm going to add the yeast as well as the pinch of salt and also the honey. And I'll leave this for a couple of minutes before I mix it in with the rest. And here I already have the milk with the honey, the yeast, the sunflower seeds and the oats and as well as the yogurt and the milk. Here finally we add the whole egg and I'm stirring it all and mixing it up all thoroughly here and then I'm going to knead it. And here we have it all mixed up. If you have an electric mixer you might want to use that or you can eat it by hand, whatever you prefer. And I put some flour on the table and I'm kneading it until it feels just right and it's not too sticky any longer. Probably need it for about five minutes, I would say. And it seems like it's getting there. So it's perfect. I'm putting it in the bowl and I'm going to leave it in the refrigerator for, I don't know, about 10 minutes while I'm preparing the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so for the filling, I'm also going to use half a cup of sugar, half a cup of marzipan or almond paste, and as well as half a cup of butter. So I'm going to mix that all together now. It's going to be rolled into the tea beers later on. But first of all, I get it all together. Okay. Okay, so now I'm rolling out the dough. And I'm going to add some butter. Let's add the butter. Actually, if you don't have butter, you can also use margarine. Uh, some people prefer margarine. So, 
either will work but like I said some people say that margarine is better than butter so let's see it in the center and then I fold it in like this out again and I'm going to add some more butter keep doing this till I'm used up all the butter and of course the more uh, more times you roll it out like this uh, the more layers you're getting so now we'll fold it together again and I'm again rolling it out center of it and then I fold it over one more time and see if we get a lot of layers this way And here I roll it out and now it's a long piece and I'm going to add the remonts and uh, then I'll make it into a roll, roll it all up after this has been added. Just about done. Okay, and then I'm rolling it up this way. And then I'm going to cut it into individual pieces. Okay, and now 
I'm going to let it rest for a couple of minutes and then I'll slice it. And I can now slice the roll and I should get about 16 individual pieces. So let's cut it in half first of all. And then each piece I cut in half. And then again I cut this into a third. Okay, and here, get three pieces out of this. And here you can see the layers in the dough, All right? And here we cut, okay. And then I'm putting them on a baking sheet, All right? And I spray the baking sheet with oil. And the very last step is to brush it with the whipped, whipped up egg here, and then sprinkle with the poppy seeds, lots of poppy seeds. Cover the surface completely with poppy seeds. Yeah. Okay. And here we have the poppy seeds. And I use it about two tablespoons of poppy seeds. Here we have one tablespoon used up. And here you see my tea or the poppy seed rolls on the baking sheet. I'm going to cover it up and let them rise for about up to two hours, I would say, before I put them in the oven. And here they are in the oven, ready to get baked. I'll check back in about 15, 20 minutes. And they are getting baked at a degree of 400. Well, the, the poppy seed roll is kind of flaky, but usually we slice it and the butter each half. So that's what I'm doing today. And this is going to be good. And I'm going to have a bite. Mm-hmm, I love it, no doubt about it. Wonderful. I'm going to make them again, that's for sure. Hopefully you also enjoy it. Please subscribe to our channel. Let's go and see you another day. Bye-bye.